magically around here without any drama. Um, Penny and Locke, I have thanked her. I've got to thank you guys again because she told me that she wouldn't have got through the last couple of days without you guys. Unbelievable. Um, ben and Beck. Yeah. For all your help for your own thing, it's been <laughs> unbelievable, all the little signs and the nice things, and Ben and Beck have just quietly gone about their uh, thing. That they, they, I think they they're getting used to these weddings, this is about their third go. <laughs> <laughs> so they're pretty damn good at this. Practice. Yeah. Although Beck did get a little bit like this about Margaret, worrying about what Margaret was thinking. I thought, wow, even she's been affected. You know? <laughs> well done, Beck. Um, who else have we forgotten? Marv's friend Jenny Lyle, who appeared at the last moment, running in with meringues and cakes and all that stuff. She's not here today, but she was one of those silent helpers, which was amazing. And she's a lovely lady. Marv works with her. Um, so, look, officially, I'd like to welcome Beck to the family. Um, we sort of did this at the wedding, but this is more for the for the Hampton and McGill side of the family. Um, one thing about Beck, I mean, she's she's beautiful. She's intelligent. You know. She's really practical. Still don't know why she's having anything to do with us. <laughs> anyway, we, we warned us. She's met she's met everybody and still wants to be part of it. So. And we love her really already. Um, yeah, we've got exciting times ahead. We've, we've heard from all the grandparents that uh, being a grandparent is pretty special. Uh, Ange probably shows me a video or a picture twice a day, <laughs> so um, it looks pretty good, and uh, looking forward to it, you know, practicing my, and all that sort of stuff, <laughs> apparently I did that with Michael last generation, I haven't got any, too many new tricks, we're doing it again, they've taken all got. photos last time, <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've got other stuff, so, uh, um, so Ben, um, Really didn't say much at your wedding because of the last the dog ate my homework last time. I was, <laughs> <laughs> it was, so it was terrible, you know. <laughs> After Ben and Beck's mum and dad are both teachers, so they had these beautifully planned speeches and things. And, and I thought we won't say too much. You got, got up, got up after that, and I, I got a failure. I, I pulled it out of the pocket. That's the uh, list, by the way, Reg. And it was all wet and tattered, and it looked, it looked an absolute shambles. And I thought. We, maybe we should have done ours first. <laughs> Sorry, Beck. I'd also like to add, um, welcome to those new members of our family, like, well, our family, Rachel, and uh, Miss Love, and Sarah, and who else? James and Julie, you thank you for coming from Canberra. <laughs> and those new people that we're embracing, because... How good is she? She knew all your names. <laughs> I would have just given you a heart. <laughs> and he's an Elvis fan. Yeah, I love him. Don't encourage him. All right. And uh, look, thanks to Lucinda and all her team for all the food and, and the great job they've been doing today. Natalie and uh, Ali and Lucinda. With all that Margaret went through before this, there's no way in the world I was going to get her to cook or worry about any of that sort of stuff, you can imagine. Um, so they've done a great job. Thank yeah. you for that, Lucinda, yeah. good team. Um, and lastly, um, I'd like to thank my wife uh, for the last 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, transferred, she's transformed this house um, unbelievably for these few hours. So please hang around and just make the most of it. <laughs> Especially the new toilets. You know. <laughs> give us give us some feedback on that. <laughs> like, like as good as as good as those things you were showing us last night, Ken. With the slippery slides. <laughs> anyway, look, look after what has actually happened to sum it up, Margaret sat down in one of her weaker moments and looked at Blake and I and basically confessed that he and I had probably gone through a near-death experience over what's happened with that with your mother and my wife the last few months. But um, she understood and uh, we dearly appreciate everything that you've done. We really do. <laughs> Don't we love you, Julie? Don't we like the toilet? Don't we like <laughs> No gluten, no gluten. Okay, no, no, I haven't finished it. I'm nearly finished. If you run out of batteries, you're not getting something. Yeah, hopefully we'll ramble on. Uh, 
So, yeah, this is just a, a special day to celebrate Ben and Beck and um, their union, and we're so very proud of both of them and, and so happy about it. And um, and looking forward to this grandparenting thing, I mean, I can be even sillier, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not possible, but that's so about January the 18th, you know, I'll be in tears, Margaret will be in tears, and she'll be ringing anybody, and we're going to keep showing them all the bloody videos <laughs> that we can find. Um, so I'd like to propose a toast to, to yeah. Ben and Beck. That's what this yeah. is all about. Yeah. And um, welcome Beck officially to the Hampton and McGill family. And baby. And baby. And baby. And baby. Ben, did you want to say a couple of words? Or anybody else? Yeah, it looks better.